When we start talking about power apps and the power platform, and we start talking about building business solutions on top of this common data service, what types of applications can we build? So there's really three different types of apps. There's Canvas apps, model apps, and now we also have the ability to build portal applications. Depending upon what you're trying to accomplish, you're going to use each one in different situations. So for example, a Canvas app is really more oftentimes focused at a specific role or a specific type of situation. They're usually task focused. Oftentimes, because of the way Canvas apps are architected, they usually will often be connected to multiple data sources. Whereas a model-driven app is really more based upon your organization's data model and its business relationships, as well as the processes that are being used as part of that application. It really provides a much more immersive experience that allows you to tailor and work through specific business use case scenarios and guide users through usability. Portal applications help you build applications or surface CDS data ex to external user users through your portal interface. This might be situations where people are having access to properties or they might be able to manage their individual account applications. And so it really becomes what specific type of use case do you want to utilize. Now one of the examples that I always kind of give people is a real estate application. When you start talking about building the overall real estate application, there are specific things that you need to have. You need to have the ability for people inside your organization to have quick access to those properties. They need to be able to figure out when people are showing those properties, who's showing those properties, who they're showing them to, be able to understand when open houses have been scheduled, and if people need to make offers or are trying to make offers, they need to be able to process those offers and see what offers have been made. Whereas if you're sitting out in the field, oftentimes you need a completely different experience. You need a much more visual based experience. You need to be able to see pictures of that property. You you need to be able to quickly input that property or use the GPS information on that on your device to be able to find similar properties that might be in the same area. You still need access to the same data. I still need to have access to properties and in some cases I still need to know you know how many bedrooms and bathrooms it has but I do have specific ways that I'm consuming that data. From in the field I need a much more visual task focused experience where I can manage each individual property, take pictures and have a more dynamic experience. Whereas when I'm looking at it from a back-end scenario, I'm looking at it more from a business central scenario. What properties are we purchasing? What properties are we selling? Who are we showing those properties to? Do we have any offers? What is the process that we use to turn that from a listing to a sale? And that's where you really have to start to think about which specific type of application you're going to use. Now, I don't necessarily like the name Canvas app or model-driven apps because the way I look at it, they're still applications. It's still what application is going to give me the specific use case or satisfy the needs that I have as part of my overall solution. Each one of them provides different ways to approach that situation. From a Canvas app scenario, the advantage is I can utilize multiple data sources. So if I have images that are stored in SharePoint, or if I have files or information stored in a Dropbox scenario, I can look at all of that information and be able to leverage that as part of my Canvas-based application. Because I usually have a very specific use case or a very specific scenario, Canvas apps typically tend to be very task focused. I'm going to create a Canvas app that is going to go out and show just properties. I want to see pictures. I want to see elements based upon those items. They also generally have a very customized user interface. You're designing that user interface in a way that that organization or that person who's consuming that application has the ability to do whatever they need to do. And typically you're going to have device interaction. I'm going to be able to go out and take pictures pictures, I'm going to be able to send emails, I'm going to be able to place phone calls. All of that information allows me to work with it from a Canvas app perspective. And I also, with Canvas apps, can utilize those to embed in other applications like Power BI or even model-driven applications to really extend the overall use cases of those situations. Whereas with model-driven apps, model-driven apps always have to be back-ended by the common data service. And usually they're going to be much more focused on a specific process or a specific situation. 
Now, unlike Canvas apps, model-driven apps typically have a more responsive UI, uh, UI. So as you're expanding and collapsing things, you'll be able to see your screens work within those situations. But it also gives you the ability to navigate the data relationships and also have a little bit more control over what people are seeing in the application. Model-driven apps can typically be spun up much quicker than Canvas apps because there's less development and architecture time. It's more of a configuration-based framework to be able to facilitate that.